أهلاً بكم My talk today will be about uh, how to differentiate between epiglottitis and the crop. Is it necessary to differentiate between epiglottitis and the crop? Yes, it's very important because the clinical presentation for both of them are similar to each other, but the management is completely different. Epiglottitis is emergent situation. This is life-threatening disease need emergent intubation, while uh, crop is self-limiting disease uh, treated conservatively and the patient can go home. That's why you have to differentiate between epiglottitis and the crop by very simple plain x-ray for the neck frontal projection and lateral projection. Let us see. Starting with epiglottitis. Epiglottitis is life-threatening bacterial infection of the upper airway, age from 3 to 6 years. Treatment of epiglottitis uh, through emergent intubation because it is a life-threatening disease. The K-view in cases of epiglottitis is lateral neck x-ray. Take care in suspected cases of, a, of uh, epiglottitis, so pine imaging is contraindicated including a CT scan, because this can cause respiratory distress when recumbent and may precipitate acute respiratory obstruction. So don't ask for any supine position for any suspected cases of epiglottitis. Regarding the radiological findings, the K-view, as we mentioned, is lateral neck X-ray. The findings are second epiglottis, Second, the epiglottic fold, as well as in 25% of cases, we can find subglottic narrowing. Uh, while in crop, there is 100% uh, subglottic narrowing. Uh, this is normal epiglottis. Uh, look at this color uh, image. This is a normal anatomy. This is a soft palate. This is a uvula. This is the tongue here. So this is the nasopharynx oropharynx and the hypopharynx. This is the epiglottis and this one is the aryepiglottic fault. So an x-ray lateral neck, this is the epiglottis here and this one is the aryepiglottic fault. This is the soft palate and this is the tongue here. This is normal epiglottis and this is a case of epiglottitis. Here we can see this is a normal epiglottis, normal aryepiglottic fault compared between this normal one and the abnormal one in cases of epiglottitis. Here we have Odimatous thickened epiglottis as well as thickened odimatous ary epiglottic fold. Uh, this is a case of epiglottitis. Uh, you can see that we have marked odimatous thickened epiglottis as well as marked thickening of uh, the ary epiglottic fold compared between this one and the normal one here. This is normal epiglottis, this is normal ary epiglottic fold. Another example of uh, epiglottitis compared between the normal one here, normal epiglottis, and the abnormal epiglottis, which is marked thickened and edematous in this image, as well as thickening of the aryepiglottic fold. Another example, marked thickened edematous epiglottis and aryepiglottic fold in case of epiglottitis. Another example of marked epiglottitis, as you see, marked thickening and edematous of the epiglottis and the aryepiglottic fold, as you see. The last example, marked thickened epiglottis and aryepiglottic fold in case of epiglottitis. Coming now to the crop. Crop is self-limiting, not life-threatening like in epiglottitis, viral, not bacterial like in epiglottitis, uh, subglottic tracheolaryngobronchitis, age from six months to three years. And the treatment of crop is conservative treatment because it is self-limiting disease. The K-view in suspected cases of crop is plain X-ray neck, frontal projection, and posterior view, not lateral view as in the cases of epiglottitis. The radiological findings, as we mentioned, the K-view is anthroposterior view. We can appreciate symmetric subglottic narrowing with loss of normal subglottic shoulders. This is what is known as steeple sign or inverted V sign. This is normal subglottic area with subglottic shouldering, as you see here. And this is the case of crop. Here we have loss of the normal shoulders, giving appearance of inverted V shape or a steeple sign. What is the meaning of steeple? Look at this picture. This is the building with shoulder here, and this building without shoulder. This is a steeple sign here. 
again this is a case of crop we have complete loss of subglottic shoulder and giving appearance of inverted v-shape or steeple sign in lateral neck x-ray of the same patient here we can appreciate normal epiglottis and the normal array epiglottic fold example for crop also this is loss of subglottic shouldering giving inverted v-shaped or steeple sign and compare between this abnormal one and the normal appearance of the shouldering of the subglottic area so the difference between crop and epiglottitis epiglottitis age from three years to six years while crop from six months to three years the key view in epiglottitis is the lateral view key view and crop is frontal projection or anthroposterior view in epiglottitis, there is thickening of the epiglottis and the thickening of the ary epiglottic fold, while in crop, epiglottis and the ary epiglottic fold are normal. In cases of epiglottitis, we can find subglottal narrowing in about 25% of cases, but in 100% of cases in crop, we have subglottic narrowing. The treatment of epiglottitis is emergent intubation because it is life threatening, while in crop, because it is self limiting. The treatment is conservative treatment. So this is everything regarding how to differentiate between epiglottitis and the crop. Thank you very much.